Hello, my darlings, and welcome to Magical Diary, the game where we get to learn magic and find a date. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to play this because I went on Steam and I typed in dating sim, and this popped up, and I was like, what? I basically get to go to Hogwarts and play a dating simulator? Perfect, aside from this guy's finger. What is happening to your hand, dog? This is, this does not look something here is really messed up. But, aside from that, I think that this is all gonna go splendidly. What are you, are you sick? Uh, no, that's a lady. Incubus? Is that what it's called? I need to brush up on my lore. Whatever, let's play a game, new game. <gasps> I get to design what I look like? Oh my gosh, and the first name that's typed in is Mary Sue. Oh, it's so perfect. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Okay, wait. We'll figure out we'll figure out the name later. I'm sure there will be butts somewhere. Look, actually, let's just let's just make the last name McButts, because that's what I want. But maybe we can have like a more normal first name, right? Something normal, McButts. That's what I want. Okay, and let's figure out our hair. Okay, right. Okay. God, I always I'm a sucker for this. I'm a sucker for that sort of hairstyle. Uh oh, I like that. Oh, I kind of want that. I want to be a little lion girl. Can I have orange? Where's my orange hair? I need my orange. <gasps> there it is. Yes. I love it. I love everything that's going on here. Okay. And then face. Oh, nope. Too big. T eyeballs way too big. But I feel like these eyes, I don't know, don't care enough. Oh, those eyes are friendly. Those are Those are friendly eyes. And then kind of... Kind of lonely eyes. Hmm. I don't think I want those. I think I'll. I think I'll go with this. Can I have orange eyes? Yes, I can. It's a gradient. Sick. Okay. Cool. Good. And then. Hmm. I'm real pasty, but I don't like having pasty characters because they look. That's just like it hurts your eyes. That hurts. This right here hurts my eyeballs. Let's go with that. I like that. And then. Oh. I like this better. Yeah, I like the, yeah, I like everything that's going on here. Okay, first name. B, uh, B, Buford. Buford McButts, the lady, right? We're a lady. Yeah, we got boobies. Buford McButts, the lady. Done. Ooh, I like the smart, strong, cute, and weird. Oh, what? Cute and weird are real low, but I am smart and strong. And red, blue, green. Are these all different types of magic we can learn? Because that would be sick. Then stress, merits, and money. Five whole dollars. I wonder if this is like merits like in school. Oh, that would suck. Oh, I don't want that. Okay. <clears throat> It all started about three years ago on my 13th birthday. I was playing tag in the back garden with my friends, but when I tried to jump out of the way of the girl who was chasing me, I jumped so high that I flew all the way over the hedge. At first, I couldn't believe it was real. No one else could either. Within a few minutes, they'd all convinced themselves that nothing unusual had happened. Then the next day, a strange old woman showed up at my doorstep to offer me the choice for my future. And now, here I am. 16 and on my way to Iris Academy, an actual school for magic, a for reals one. The school lies in a hidden valley in the Green Mountains, about 150 miles from my home in New Hampshire. My parents drove me out here, but we've already said our goodbyes. I asked them to drop me off at the outskirts of the school grounds so I could walk the rest of the way on my own. I knew dad would cry and make a fuss over me before letting me go, and I didn't want my new classmates to see me for the first time looking like that. Dad's so embarrassing. Actually, I'm surprised Dad agreed. He's always been a little overprotective. Maybe he's finally recognizing that I'm not a little kid anymore. Anyway, it means I have to carry my own suitcases, boo, which contain all that I have to my name for the next nine months. Not many clothes, because we'll be wearing school uniforms all the time, but I have some books, pictures of my friends and family, and decorations for my new room. Ooh, star transition! 
Oh my god. This looks like every boarding school from every anime ever. <laughs> oh, there it is, up ahead. The campus looks more like a very posh boarding school than a home for wizards and witches. Pretty buildings, lots of trees and wide open spaces. Summer is still lingering here. The leaves haven't yet started to turn. I walk a little faster, feeling slightly too warm in this long robe and cape. Why am I wearing my robe when it's not class time? Like, is it just required? If you're on campus, you better be wearing your robe. Because otherwise, how are we supposed to know if you're a mudblood? You know, how are we supposed to know if you're for reals? Like, maybe you're just a gardener. Flower beds and arches stretch out around me. So many doors and windows, and they all look the same. There are three residential halls for girls and three for boys. I've been accepted to Horse Hall, which is for adventurous girls. Whatever that means. Yeah, for real. The other two girl halls are the butterflies, who are probably girly girls, and the snakes. I'm not sure who would want to be a snake. I'd much rather be a horse. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not sure exactly where Horse Hall is. I have a letter about freshman orientation. Where did I put it? I look down at my suitcases while I walk, trying to remember which pocket I stuck the letter into, when suddenly... <laughs> I bump into Snape. Right? It looks like Snape! Oops! Sorry! He's an older man in school robes with no hall symbol on them, which means he's probably a professor! Like Snape. This is not a good first impression. Sorry, sir! Uh, a new student, I see. And what might your name be? He has a lovely voice, dark and rich with a refined British accent. Nailed it! And he doesn't seem to be too angry with me. I relax a little. Buford McButt, sir, I just got here, and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be. My voice trails off as I notice he's no longer looking at me. Instead, he's paging through the large book he was carrying. Miss, uh, McButt, is it? <laughs> Wild Seed, how unsurprising. Wild? More than likely, a complete waste of my time. You have no idea how much you've been given, and you're just gonna throw it all away. He scribbles something into the book, and then slams it shut. Ten demerits! Not a promising start. <laughs> Pay more attention to your studies than you do where you're walking, Miss McButts. <laughs> or you'll find yourself expelled from this academy before the new year. With a snap of his wrist and a sparkly finish, he wraps his cape around him and stalks away. I'm so glad I chose the last name McButts. Worth it. <clears throat> I haven't even started school yet, and already one of my teachers hates me. Star transition! After a bit of looking around, I found the way into the girls' dormitories and located my hall. There are nine doors in this hall, only one of which is labeled bathroom. If each bedroom has at least two girls in it, I hope that's a big bathroom. <laughs> My own letter informed me I would have two roommates, but didn't tell me their names or anything else about them. I haven't seen anyone wearing a horse insignia. All I can do is find my room and wait for them to show up. Here it is, room three. I open the door and pick up my suitcases. Walking inside, I find a fairly ordinary looking bedroom with only... I have two roommates, right? Where's my bed? <laughs> This is clearly a dorm made for two people. Is it behind me? Walking inside, I find a fairly ordinary looking bedroom. No skulls or drippy candles or black light posters on the walls. No incense or crystals anywhere. Unless they just haven't had time to unpack yet. A girl who had been sitting on one of the beds stands up. Um, hello? You're a horse! Uh, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Hi, I'm Buford. Are you my roommate? One of them. I'm Ellen. That's Virginia's bed, but she went out to talk to somebody. Oh, nice to meet you. Sick. Where are you from? Virginia. The state, I mean. I'm not sure where Virginia the girl is from. I tilt my head. You don't have much of a southern accent at all. It sounds more like a real bad British one. Oh, it's not that far south, and my family wasn't from there. <laughs> what about you? New Hampshire, not too far from here. <laughs> Are all those books yours? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just couldn't keep up that dreadful southern accent. 
There aren't any computers here, so I brought my old encyclopedias. And those are textbooks for the classes I would be taking this year at my other school if I hadn't left. Oh, you must be a really good student. Not really, I probably won't even open them. But I didn't know what I'd need, and I didn't want to need something that not have it. <laughs> those books are everything I could find out about magic. The real kind. Now, and I know it's real. Yeah, isn't it great? We're gonna be witches, just like in the movies! Oh good, you're Wild Seed too! What does Wild Seed mean? It means your parents weren't magic, so you're like a wildflower. She holds out her hand for me to shake. Me? My family's all magical, so I always knew I'd be a witch. I'm Virginia. She has a pretty strong grip. Buford! Pleasure to meet ya. Is it a problem, being wild? I met a professor and he was sort of rude about it. A professor? Shaggy black hair, big nose. Yeah, I sort of bumped into him. <laughs> oh no, now you're gonna be on Grabby's blacklist. Why would you call your professor Grabby? Is that his actual name? No, I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that that's actually his name. <laughs> because that's... Look, that's a name that you would give a professor if he was hella inappropriate, right? Like, that's not... That's not real. That's not a real thing, right? <laughs> the professor grabs girls! See? Ellen knows what's up. No, that's his name. Professor Grabiner. Oh, he hates me. He hates everybody, so it doesn't make much difference. Don't worry about it. Nobody cares if you're born witch or not. Not really. And everybody's scared of Grabby because he's a monster. William warned me about him. Oh, who's William? My big brother. Oh, bigger brother. He's a senior. Donald's a freshman like us. They're in Wolf Hall. But enough about boys. What sport do you play? What do you like? I like softball, but I'm much better at volleyball. Good, strong arms. Me? I prefer soccer. What about you, Buford? Um, I guess I'm mostly best at track. I like to run. Your legs, her arms, and my fighting spirit. We're the total package. Go horses. Virginia's getting out of control. Are there sports teams for wizards here? Not exactly. There's bounders, but that's not a real sport. But there is a gym, and we can start our own sports teams, bo boardy sports teams, if we want to. Right, Buford? Uh, I guess? Sorry, sorry. I'm rolling you over, aren't I? I'll let you unpack. Come on, Ellen. I'll introduce you to my brothers. Huh? Okay. Oh man, do I meet the brosives? I'll be responsible. I'll stay and unpack. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget, Buford orientation is tomorrow, and you'll get to see old Grabby again. Oh, great. Awesome. Cool. I guess I'd better start putting things away. Everything moves quickly here, and I don't intend to get left behind. Tomorrow I start learning magic. Magic! Star transition! At 9 a.m. on Monday morning, all the freshmen are gathered in the gymnasium, wearing capes and robes, just like me. But they're not completely like me. One boy has furry ears and a long fluffy tail! Aw, oh, yeah! We got cat boys in this game, guys. A plus, 10 out of 10. One girl has glittering wings, and that girl looks like a vampire. <laughs> Why? Why does she look like a vampire? <laughs> She looks- she's wearing the exact same clothes as us! Oh, whatever. Is that what it means to be born a witch? Being something other than human? Virginia looks normal, but she could be hiding something under her robes. <laughs> no, that's silly. The muttering and shuffling of students drops off as someone steps up to the podium. Hello, my little flower buds. Welcome to Iris Academy. I start to applause, but freeze as I realize that no one else is. Then Virginia, beside me, picks up the clapping, loudly. Soon the whole room is cheering. <laughs> Virginia's the best. The witch holds up her hands, and the room settles back into silence. My name is Professor Potsdam, and I will be one of your instructors in the ways of magic. For some of you, this is the beginning of adventure such as you have never imagined. For others, this is only the next step in a journey you have been expecting all your lives. At Iris Academy, we teach spelling using the pentachromatic system. Red magic is forceful, but not necessarily violent. Blue is the color of transformation and change. Green is the color of life and the world of planets and pl plants and animals. White magic affects the mind and spirit, and black magic is contained within physical objects. 
Your palette should contain at least a few dabs of every magical color. But a beautiful painting doesn't need every shade. It's style that counts and matters. You all have different strengths, different talents. Here at Iris Academy, we embrace that diversity and tailor your education to your needs. Choose your schedule to focus your personal talents. Don't try to become a reflection of your classmates. Follow your own star wherever it may lead you. That is the way in which you are all alike. You each have your own future, and I know you'll make us proud. Her starry-eyed way of speaking reminds me a little bit of my old school's guidance counselor, but she certainly seems nicer than Professor Grabener. I wonder which classes she teaches. You have been divided into halls to help you make friends with classmates who share similar interests. For the girls, we have the adventurous horses, the charming butterflies, and the mysterious snakes. Each group clap- oh. <clears throat> Each group claps their hand as their name is called. Each, Each group claps as their name is called. The horse is louder than the others, or perhaps that's just because I'm sitting with more of them. For the boys, we have the daring wolves, the elegant falcons, and the eldritch toads. I'm not sure what eldritch means. Yeah, me neither. But toads sound even worse than snakes. Oh, come on, sack up. I hope you'll all become good friends, not just in each hall and not just in your year, but throughout the whole academy. But most importantly, I hope you'll get to know and trust your roommates so that by the end of the year, you're able to work as a team for your final exams. I'm actually not. I'm not laughing at her. Oh, God, but now I am. What is this face? <laughs> I started laughing because I remembered that I named my character Buford McButt. <laughs> oh, why? Who am I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's this face! <laughs> and I know you're all looking for your example. <laughs> the audience predictably groans. For testing purposes, your instructors will regularly send you practical challenges in school dungeons. The school has dungeons? Each task has many possible solutions. You will need to make creative use of the spells you have chosen to learn. So think ahead about what might be useful and how. Okay, are you all ready for magic? <laughs> Open up your diaries and begin penciling in your s <laughs> schedule. <laughs> My last name is McButts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I need to choose which classes to attend this week. There are classes for each kind of magic, plus general studying, which sounds boring, and gym class, which I've always liked. I can also schedule free time to relax and unwind. For most of my life, my classes have been planned out for me by my school. It wasn't until last year that I got to make any choices at all. Cantonese, French, or Spanish. Physics, chemistry, or biology. Still, everyone had to have the same number of classes and they all started and ended at the same time. You couldn't get out of it. If I can choose whatever schedule I want here, what would happen if I never went to class at all? Would they really let me get away with that? Hmm. What should I do this week? I like how it's leading you into, hey, you should try just like not going to class. You know, just to like see what happens. Like, like what would happen? I don't know. Okay, cool. We get to choose what we want to do or there's study hall or there's just, nah, that's okay. I'm not going to class. Um, let's see. I'm most interested in transformational magic because I'm hoping that includes shape-shifting. But then there's also like green magic. Ah, but red magic sounds cool. Hmm. Look, I'm gonna do transformational three days a week. And then two, the other two days, I'll do lifey magic and black magic. Done. <laughs> 